Good morning everyone and I hope you've had a lovely weekend so far. So welcome to a brand new vlog and a vlog that's going to hopefully be very very cosy. Um, so today is Sunday and it's currently oh, about quarter to nine uh, in the morning. The sun is just rising which is so beautiful but yeah I've woken up early today and I've walked to Ellie already just to do a letter out and do a business but I was just joking with Simon that um, because we're going to go on a nice long walk, long walk uh, very shortly so we're going to drive probably like 45 minutes and have a few hours walking and getting our steps in and seeing the scenery um but i just joked with simon that i only walked heli because i want to beat him on our step cam today so yeah that'll be interesting to see who does the most steps today i've just showered and just gotten changed i'm just wearing this sort of like gray zip fleece really lightweight but just kind of cozy just to walk in and i'm just going to wear my barber jacket and some boots so i'll show you them soon but i've just got some sausages in the oven because i feel like you know when we're halfway through the walk we're gonna have like a little sausage sandwich so i did keep the package just to just to show you them because these are so so good so they're the meat free heck sausages and these are amazing like you honestly can't really tell the difference but also the Richmond meat-free sausages are, chef's kiss, brilliant. But yeah, so we're going to have those for like a mid-snack hike kind of thing. And I'll get some water bottles, I'll get Ellie sorted as well, so I'll give her some like little treats and her water as well, so she's all content and happy and before we leave i just need to pop on some sunscreen and i want to tell you about a sunscreen product that is just so so good for long walks hikes or anything like that and things that you know you're kind of like outside and you're going to be outside for a long time and you want to make sure that you're protected and i know this isn't my skincare channel but this is such a good product and it's so relevant for well so spf is relevant all the time but it is the EV Technology Daily Defense Face Mousse SPF 50. So EV Technology do a lot of like different SPFs, but I find this one to be probably the best because it is just like, it is so, so lightweight and like the texture of it is so unique, just like all the EV Technology sunscreens but it really does have those moisturizing benefits as well. And this one is actually finished, it's ran out, so I did purchase another one here. And these sunscreens are that good that they've been tested so, so much, like so vigorously, and the SPF protection can last up to eight hours. So I probably wouldn't recommend going a whole eight hours without applying another layer on top, but if you're sort of if you forget your sunscreen and you're wearing this then you know that you are really really protected from the uv rays this isn't an ad or anything like that um it's just a fantastic product and always always wear this when we're going out for long walks so yeah before we leave i'm just going to apply this all over my face and my neck and even take it with me because i don't know how long we're going to be out there for but hopefully not too long maybe like four hours and then we'll be back home or like five hours or something but today i'm going to also bake some banana and triple chocolate muffins they were i baked these last week from james patisserie's cookbook or baking book but honestly they were so so good and i've got bananas that are really sort of ready to be mashed up and created into something so so tasty and sweet so yeah i'm going to bake those and then we're also going to do a sunday roast dinner and those are the sausages that are ready to come out of the oven so yeah it's going to be baking the banana and triple chocolate muffins well they're not going to be triple chocolate today because i've only got one kind of chocolate in but i'm going to absolutely cram it with lots of chocolate and then we're also going to cook a sunday dinner as well so i'll bring you along for cooking that we're going to do like a vegan like cauliflower broccoli cheese kind of thing um, I think we've got some stuffing in, Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, all of the goodness. So yeah, it's going to be a really lovely, chilled out, cosy Sunday vlog. So we're all ready to go now. We've done the sandwiches, uh, put some sunscreen on and yeah, we've got the water ready. Ellie's ready to go. Aren't you? You ready to go more? You ready to go in there? No, I'm not going to say it yet because she's going to go absolutely mental. But yeah, this is what I am wearing. Not a good angle. Simon, can you just do a PO, POV of what I'm wearing? Yeah, so I'm wearing my barber jacket that Simon got me very nice for Christmas that I love. Very fitting for the walk. And then I've got also these boots 
um, which are look brand new because they are kind of relatively brand new. Bought them from the Boohoo Man website on sale and just thought they're not real leather so they were just going to be perfect for walking, um, walking the dog, getting a bit muddy and nice and sturdy and they look a little bit better than walking boots so that is what I am wearing. <laughs> What are you wearing, Ellie? And we have arrived at our destination, which is called Fairy Glen. Uh, it's really nice and woodlandy. There's a nice, like, little stream following down. Ellie's already kind of like covered in mud, which is which is great. But yeah, uh, so we don't know how long this walk's going to be, but we're just going to get our steps in and enjoy the beautiful countryside. So we need to get down to the waterfall but how do we do that oh you're joking me <laughs> we're gonna go i'm gonna go flat on my ass how on earth have we got up here <gasps> we have just tried to walk down there oh my goodness gracious me a passerby was just like do you need any help <laughs> Ah. So beautiful though. Look at this river. And I think up here there is a waterfall. Hey. A good girl. Oh, what is it? What is it? Ellie is so adventurous. Such a daredevil. Where do you want to go? <laughs> oh god, is he gonna fall? Hey! <laughs> oh, bless her. Come on! Good girl. She'll realise. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, wow. So stunning the countryside. Hey. Beautiful. And my boots aren't doing too bad actually. But I won't mind them getting a bit muddy though. Bye bye. Yeah. Ellie May. What do you look like? 
<laughs> what do you look like? Really? Really? What? You crazy critter. You crazy critter. Oh. What? Are you going to give you a nice long bath when you get home? Yeah, you are. I'm not. And you are. I'm going to be making my banana and triple chocolate muffins. What? With one type of chocolate. Yeah, with one type of chocolate. <laughs> Triple chocolate with one type of chocolate. Aww. Oh. <laughs> I know. It's only because I baked the triple chocolate ones last week, so that's why I'm stuck in my head. What do you want to do? Um. Should we go to the top of that one and. Yeah. Back? Yeah. Yeah. How many steps are you on? I don't know. I'm not going to get my phone out in case I lose out on a five steps. How many steps are you on? One, two thousand. So we've been walking for a little bit and we found this canal. So we're just going to walk along it for a little bit. Oh, he's going to fall in it. Uh, but yeah, how pretty. What else? The shoes, the boots are getting a little bit muddy. <laughs> I promise you though, this isn't going to be like a muddy boot vlog. <laughs> this is going to be a cosy vlog. But how many steps are we going to do? And also, who's going to win at the step count? I think I am, because I did walk Kelly this morning. So we're just sat on the bench having our sausage sandwiches and it is a bit of a wet bench actually so we've got some soggy bottoms <laughs> um, but yeah we're just uh, having a little little snackaroo, Ellie has as well and then we're just going to continue walking. First robin I've seen this year, well all winter. Oh little robin! So we are back home now and it's actually, what time is it, uh, one o'clock I think, so how long we're we out for? Four hours we're out for, so yeah we got our steps in absolutely, but we're still on the step challenge of the day, so I'll let you know how many steps we've both done by the end of the video, but I've just changed into a really nice cosy fluffy hoodie, Simon is giving Ellie a bath upstairs so she's going to um, smell absolutely lovely and yeah be all nice and clean and then we're gonna dry her with the hair dryer she's that kind of dog that just absolutely loves a hair dryer it's just yeah it's funny to, and so cute to watch but I'm gonna make us a cup of tea now and then I'm gonna get start baking on the banana and chocolate muffins <laughs> Okay, do Gillian. So I have laid out my ingredients for the banana and chocolate muffins. So this is Jane's patisserie's recipe. So I'm not going to take any credit for it. However, um, the, I love this book so much because it's so customizable and adaptable to whatever you have in your cupboards or what you fancy. And these are banana, chocolate, and hazelnut muffins. Where basically. Um, Jane has swirled the chocolate, like chocolate spread like Nutella or something into the mix. However, however, because we don't have any Nutella in and it's not something you, we usually keep in the cupboards anyway. So uh, last week when I made these originally, I just put some triple chocolate chunks in them and they work perfectly. Um, so today I'm actually going to try and 
break down some dairy milk bars. So I've got six mini ones here, which equate to like 180 grams. So that should be plenty. So I'm gonna really chop them up and, you know, kind of make them in like little chunk pieces. But yeah, these are my ingredients here. Don't worry, I will leave everything sort of detailed in the description box down below and the recipe and also Jane's incredible book. But yes, got the KitchenAid here and my weighing scales and I'm ready to go. So I absolutely love this recipe because it is so, so easy to make. It takes next to no time and really minimal ingredients as well. So it doesn't even have butter in there, which is just, yeah, it's fantastic. So if you don't usually eat butter or anything like that, then you don't have to worry about this recipe. Um, so it's just bananas, eggs, brown sugar, light brown sugar, self-raisin flour, vanilla extract, oil, and any chocolate of your choice. I was gonna do like mini egg ones, but I think I'm gonna save them for some mini egg cookies that I am actually renowned for, I have to say. And also I use these tulip muffin cases. I just find that they, aesthetically they look a lot better as well, but you can really get the mix in and just plow it all in so you get more for each serving basically. But yeah, I got these from Amazon. I'll leave these linked in the description box down below as well. Really, really cheap and inexpensive and just a staple to have instead of those like, you know, those standard cupcake cases. So preheat the oven to, what does she say, was it 180? 170. So that should be ready. Got a muffin case. Where's my muffin case? <laughs> it's always like I know this is probably textbook but you really do need the most ripest bananas in the whole entire world because they're just so easy to mash up and um, just there's so much more flavour in them as well. So what I usually like to do is just like break them down like so and then start mashing them up. Should have done this a little bit before but well. Oh, actually, I've heard that you should open bananas this way, which does actually make a bit of sense, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it worked. So you're really sort of looking for the banana mixture to look like that. Just kind of a bit, a bit sort of lumpy, a bit, a bit chunky in places, but majority of it to kind of, you know, be a bit of a goofy mess because um, that really is going to combine the mixture so, so well. Um, so what we need to do is put the mashed bananas in the mixer. So we'll do that. Sugar, light brown sugar so we need. 200 grams of light brown sugar. Eggs, oil, right, so two eggs go in there as well. So I'm just going to have to, because that starts off at 200, so I'm just going to have to kind of guess a little bit. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, but we, we like to live life on the edge a little bit here, so we're just going to pour some in. There we are. I feel like a professional baker, I'm just like, yeah, like a cocktail maker. Um, right, so... Uh, whisk until smooth, add self raising flour and salt and mix again until just combined, but do not over mix. So now it's time for the flour and we'll just sprinkle it with a little bit of salt, it does say pinch of salt. Um, so what we need is 275 grams of self raising flour. Um, shake that up, get it all in around. Right then, and then I'll. The key to a really good cake mix is to slowly add the batter. Uh, not the batter, the flour.
because it does say in her recipe that it makes 12. However, um, I find that I've only been able to make eight. So yeah, it's up to you. it's entirely up to you. I mean, you can do them in cupcake cases, get 12 out of the mixture, but no, you kind of want a muffin to be a muffin, don't you? Alrighty-o then. So I filled the muffin cases up. I think this one is, I think I was a bit too generous with that one, but they all look pretty even to me and they are ready to go in the oven for 25 minutes. And as well, what I really do love about this recipe is that the mess is so minimal. Like, I know, like, I need to put, like, the stuff away, but cleaning up-wise, it is so minimal, and that just makes baking so much more enjoyable, doesn't it? So, yeah, I'm just going to chill out now for a little bit. Simon has gone to the shops because we need to buy... Well, we actually forgot. I don't even think we got it in. But we need a corn roast for the Sunday dinner tonight. And yeah, we don't have it in. So yeah, Simon's gone to the shop for that. As well as just to have a little tea at a uh, cup of tea with his mum over at his mum's house. So I'm just going to clean up this mess. Wait until the muffins are done and chill out for a little bit. And then I will show you once the muffins are out of the oven. Oh my god. These smell incredible and also look so so good as well so just taking them out of the oven so i do need to let them cool down just a little bit but i have like popped a knife in there just to make sure that they are cooked and yeah that is just the chocolate so oh my god dairy milk banana muffins <sighs> once they're cooled down i'll do i I'm smelling these muffins, right? And I just can't, can't wait any longer. So I'm gonna slice one open and I'm actually gonna put them on in a nice board. Oh my God. Look at those chunks of dairy milk. That is so, so good. Oh, those chunks of dairy milk as well. Mmm. Look at that. Chunks of dairy milk and banana. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I know you're so fluffy, aren't you? You're so fluffy. Yes, you are. You're so fluffy. You're so fluffy, fluffy. And a little bit still wet, but still. Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. such a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it could kill. It never ceases to amaze me how beautiful sunsets are. And the sun will always set down here. Well, actually, I'm lying there. So in winter, it always sets down there. But then in summer, it will go all the way down there. 
and it will be even more spectacular. Oh. So it is a little bit later now, only a few hours, but we have started getting ready for the sun, for the Sunday dinner, or the roast dinner, whichever one you like to call it. Uh, but my skin is actually flaring up a little bit, it's just breaking out around here, really painful. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have to really take my skin care, well put my skin, no, take my, take my skin care down a notch. Turn, turn, turn my skin care routines down a notch a little bit and just focus on some really soothing calming and barrier rebuilding products however we have started prepping the roast dinner so got the cauliflowers and broccoli florets to go into the oven to roast a little bit whilst i make the sauce then we've got some honey roasted well honey honey like drizzled carrots that are going to be roasted as well um the corn roast which is by the way is absolutely incredible if you want a meat free option for a sunday dinner roast dinner then this has got your back it is so so good um which i'll show you in the oven so it doesn't look there it is it doesn't look all that appealing right now but you slice it up once it's cooked for 55 minutes and it just tastes delicious and the roast potatoes are in there i'm going to get cracking doing the vegan cauliflower cheese sauce and we also have a list that we also like to you know just write down all our timings for sunday dinner just to make it really easy make sure that we haven't forgotten anything so yeah we've got the honey carrots to go on the broccoli ca cauliflower cheese to go on the Yorkshire puddings, uh, the last five minutes, and also the gravy. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty sort of simple but tasty, delicious roast dinner. And I'm just making the vegan cauliflower cheese. So I put some flora butter in there, the plant-based one, the, um, a little bit of mustard, some garlic, some flour, and um, is that it so far? Yeah. Um, and I've just melted that down, and then I'm gradually adding the soy milk into it just so it's gonna go into this like cheesy like consistency and you have to whisk it constantly And here we have the masterpiece. Oh, I just live for Sunday dinners, roast dinners. So we've got carrot and sweet mash, roast potatoes, the corn roast, which looks like that, Yorkshire puddings, vegan cauliflower cheese, and honey glazed par um, not parsnip, honey glazed carrots. Oh yeah. And then for dessert, yum yum yum. chocolate day <laughs> honestly that sunday roast was blooming wonderful it was so tasty and there was a little bit left over so we have saved some for our lunches tomorrow which is going to be super super nice but yeah i've got a hot chocolate now and i'm going to have one of these banana and dairy milk muffins and yeah so i really do hope you have enjoyed today's video thank you so so much for joining us on our cozy sunday day and so yeah thank you so so much for watching i really do hope you have enjoyed today's video please don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a massive thumbs up and i will see you next week for a brand new vlog see you later Bye bye